What's up everybody, it's Demeter here and long time no see, I know. So I've been focusing way too much on my drum covers lately and on the podcast that me and West have are having. The podcast is called Under the Shell. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I strongly suggest you do this. You can listen to us in this channel and the videos that I upload called Under the Shell Podcast, obviously. Or you can listen to us in all the major platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, whatever. So it's fun. We're talking about content creation. We're talking about drumming and generally musician, musician stuff. So today we're back with the breakdown series and we're talking about architects. They have recently released their newest album. I seriously should stop hitting things. So they recently released their newest album, which is called For Those That Wish To Exist. And today we're breaking down their drummer, the influential Dan Cyril, if that's how his last name is pronounced. So let's jump to the video. Let's see what he's doing. This is a playthrough of Naysayer that's been filmed like six years ago. And we're going we're going to talk about what he's doing, what his setup is like, his technique. Let's go. Okay, so we're 24 seconds into the video and I'm pausing. So let's start off with his setup. He's using the classical rock set, uh, rock setup, which is one rock tom, two floor toms for more low end, uh, double bass pedal and a snare. That's pretty much as classic as, as it, could, it could get. So, um, he is a Zildjian artist, as you can probably see. He's using mostly A and K customs, which are, again, Zildjian's higher lines of symbols. And his setup is actually pretty, pretty... Well, it's not the most simplest out there, but it's there's nothing fancy. There is no stacks, there are no um, strange and odd symbols. He has... One mini china, one big china, one, two, three crashes, one splash, and a ride, and a hi-hat. So, yeah, again, simple, maybe a little too abundant, but nothing too fancy. So, in terms of his technique, as you could probably see, I'm just going to back it up a little bit. He's using a German grip which is very obvious here. I'm going to play it for a bit. Yeah. He's using German grip, which is probably out of the three main grips, which are French, American and German. The German is probably the most um, powerful in terms of stick physics and um but but it's the least controllable german grip has a lot of power but there is not a lot of dynamic to it so pretty much all of your hits are going to be loud as you're going to see further into the video um he's actually flaring his elbows a little bit uh, which usually by the book is not something that you'd want to do but having in mind that he's a professional drummer and very good at that um, we can forgive that to him but um, if, you, if you watch especially his live videos um, he's really flaring his his elbows he's playing with his hands up in the, the air and he's just smashing pretty much everything so um, yeah let's let's continue on Wait! 
again, you can see the big arcs he's doing with his hands and um, he's using a lot of force. He's controlling that force, but he's a heavy hitter. I like heavy hitters because I am one myself. I like how he's alternating his hands. He's not just using one hand like most of us will do. I would do it just one hand, but he's just alternating both, which it doesn't really matter at all for in terms of sound technique. It's whatever. Maybe he's just having fun, but it's just strange to see that because I don't see a lot of people who are alternating hands at such a low speed. Also, notice that he's using his right foot pretty much all the time. So he has pretty good uh, right foot strength and one foot endurance and skill. So what most guys would uh, do with two feet, he's doing it with one. And it's not just some crazy speed, it's just for every drummer there is a point where if you play something with one foot, it's kind of too fast for you. And if you're playing it with two feet, it's way too slow. So for, for every drummer, this is different. Um, I have it, everybody has it. It's, it's a different tempo, but you definitely have this point. So you can do one of two things. Either you learn to play slower with your two feet, or you ramp up the, diff the endurance of your right foot and just do it th this way. In this case, he's doing it the second way, with his right foot. Skinny jeans for the win. Oh, that's the end. So, as you can easily see, he's not the... Um, he would not hold back any energy and uh, his energy expenditure is pretty high. Um, is this efficient? Probably not. But this is the way he feels it. This is the way he's playing. And Architects are actually a pretty emotional band. 
Um, they're not pretty known for being, you know, sat back and relaxed and it's just correlating pretty well with, with the band. And I think that he, his playstyle and uh, his, his energy and the way he's playing and even his songwriting are perfect for that type of music and, and this band. So, okay, here's the thing. There is no what's one size fits all. And you're gonna hear me say a lot of times that uh, this is wrong or this is right or, you know, this is too much. I'm not any kind of judge. I mean, most of the drummers that I analyze and that I uh, break down uh, are way, way better drummers than me. And I'm in no way any kind of factor. Uh, I'm just saying how it is optimally but i'm explaining why they're doing what they're doing so in his case he is wasting too much energy but this is not bad because for this type of music for this emotional band it's necessary even because you know this is this is his expression expression now if you're playing jazz and you're hitting like this probably not the best idea or vice versa, if you put a jazz drummer and make him play an air, it probably won't sound as an air. you know. It will be way more chill and relaxed. So Dan is, as I said in the beginning, pretty influential drummer and he's really part of, you know, a band who's influenced so much other artists and, and they're one of the foundational bands in metalcore. Or at least were so let me know what is your opinion on Dan and um, do you like him do you like architects what do you think about their latest release and do you find these videos helpful if you do please leave a like leave a comment share it maybe hit subscribe and if you really 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 like me you could support me by checking the links below I've got a pretty cool merch store you can become my patron, we can talk on a daily basis, you could give me suggestions about upcoming videos. And that's it for today. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching with me, I appreciate you, all the love, see you next time. Bye bye.